What's up everybody, Chris Chrome here, and today I'm doing a reaction video to the Logic No Pressure Freestyle. Um, just a little bit of context of what we do here. Uh, we try to prioritize looking at things that we've never seen before, things that just kind of get dropped, released, new things that are coming out uh, all the time, and we give our first opinions, first listens, and kind of just how we feel about it. Uh, usually I'm on the reviews channel, the Behind That Suit reviews channel, where we review a lot of uh, classic hip hop albums, modern hip hop albums that drop every week, some rock, uh, some rock and roll albums, and many other shows that we have also on that channel you can definitely check out. Uh, but for today, I decided that I'm doing a little bit of a reaction. I had some time on my hands, so I thought I'd pop this in here. And also, I decided to go with Logic No Pressure Freestyle because of the fact that it's actually only been out for about like an hour today. Um, so I figured, hey, why not try to get ahead of the curve and see what's going on? Now, the other thing too is in the last week or so, I had a conversation with somebody at work about uh, Logic NF and just a uh, token and just a lot of these rappers that uh, that I one point kind of saw were around in the game and doing what they got to do but then they kind of dropped off a little bit uh, I know that logic has been around I have reviewed some of his albums but uh, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the conversation led more towards logic in terms of what he's doing and how uh, I guess how just me and this the, my me and buddy of mine we were feeling about his projects or whatnot um, personally I feel like He's a good rapper. He's got, you know, he's got the skill. He's got the talent. He can do. He, he knows what he wants to do. He's kind of see there, but I don't really see anything uh, changing out of what I've reviewed. A lot of the music I get, uh, a lot of music I've heard from Logic is a lot of like fast-paced, choppity rap uh, that doesn't really say much from what I've gotten. It's just kind of saying like I'm better rapper than you guys. Um, you know, I'm the goat. This, that, and the other thing. Uh, again, this is music that I've listened to. I did uh, review the Everybody album, which I give him his credit. It's a really good album in terms of just like beat production, um, lyrically, and, and just how he kind of formulated all the songs and, and, and really presented it. It was really good, but I didn't think that there was enough content on there that really interested me to want to go back to the album. Uh, you know, you had some of the we we had like I think that's the one with the suicide track on it if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we did have some like topics that were interesting that I did enjoy, but a majority of the album was kind of just him discussing. I felt like him discussing his um, his problem not his problem but like his complexity with like the biracial thing and not really knowing where he fits in and kind of standing out with not standing out but like kind of feeling like he's. I guess a little underrated I, I don't know it just it, it, it felt very repetitive in terms of what he was saying a lot on the album again it was a while back I didn't even I don't think I even there was another album that came out that I reviewed I think there was a project that came out that I didn't even bother reviewing so I don't know that I'm just trying to I'm just trying to give you guys the context of where I'm coming from in terms of logic just because I do like him and I like what he can do but I, I haven't really followed him and I'm not super interested although because I did have that conversation recently, um, and you know, within a week span, this comes out. I figured, hey, why not? Let me give it a chance and see what's going on. So, as you can see here, I got the video here. I've got the um, got the video on the left. I've got the lyrics on the right, and I'm just gonna go through it, see what it's about. You know, kind of give my commentary how I feel about it, and uh, take it from there. So, let's do this. <laughs> So I like the intro. I know it's only been 16 seconds, but I do like the intro. I like uh, that like jazzy feel to it, that old school feel to it. I like how he's got the uh, DJ mixing board there. It's really kind of bringing us back to some old school feels. Uh, the vibe so far is pretty nice. Not, you know, I know, again, like I said, I know it's 16 seconds in, but so far, like, it's just nice to listen to. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Scratches. 
Hey yo, I never had a car, that's why I hate the fucking bus. Cut the 61 and drum and sound and hear them guns bust. Call it static, headphones on, it's ill matter. For my Rosa Parks in the back, writing like B Rabbit, how I carry it. Give me the beat and then I'ma bury it. Producing tracks for the underground like carry it. So, I like how he's giving himself that, like he's contextualizing who he is and kind of like where he comes from. Uh, starting off, he's like, Ayo, I never had a car, that's why I hate the fucking bus. Took the 61 to Germantown and hear the guns bust. Call it static, headphones on, it's Illmatic. On my Rosa Parks, in the back, writing like B Rabbit. Um, that's cool. That's pretty cool bars. Uh, I like how he's like referencing certain things in culture, uh, in black history as well, which is awesome. Uh, I know it's part of like who he is, because I know he is half black. Uh, which I do relate to a lot since I'm also uh, me being biracial as well. My father and my mother are both half black. Uh, so it's, it's cool to see that he's out there representing that. Um, and, and so far it's smooth. So far it, it's pretty smooth. The bars are intact. Uh, you know, how, how uh, Amar Rosa Parks in the back written, right in like B-Rabbit, how I carry it, give me the beat, then I'm a bury it, producing tracks for the underground like Harriet. I like that. Her um, I like that it was it was nicely flowed. It was nicely connected. It's pretty cool. Two alive like twins in a womb. Come hither consume all of my memories from past and present like two identities. Logic falling off is an obscenity. Top five, I better be steadily. Listen, now, goddamn, goddamn conversations with people. Crazy how one day the legends forget that they equal on this under. That's cool. I like that. Um, logic falling off. It's an it's an obscenity. Okay, he's being cocky there. That's cool. He's never going to fall off. I like how he's solidifying himself there. Top five, I bet I'd be steadily listening. The word play, the syllable play is nice. I like how he's keeping it steady with that. Um, but here, goddamn, goddamn conversations with people. Crazy how one day the legends forget that they equal. I like how he's addressing that. I like how people, I like how he's addressing that people kind of change when they hit certain statuses, that level of status quo. They kind of think they're better than than other people. They kind of think that they have this, uh, uh, you know, whatever, God complex, higher power boss mentality, which I do respect. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people do respect, do earn that respect of having a boss mentality and moving in certain ways that gets you the bag, money, you know, and, and, and gets you to be to that successful limit. But it doesn't mean, I think like on a literal sense, he's bringing it down to like, you bleed just as much as I bleed. You know, like, if, if you get stabbed, you bleed. If I get stabbed, I bleed. It's not like the amount of money or the amount of fame that you got has really changed who you are as a, like an actual being. So that was pretty cool. Precious sequel, we not taking it back. We keeping it pushing. People scared of change, which will find me deep in the cushion. Read a Nostradamus at 90 degrees. Better believe I turn a profit with ease. Die your critical lifestyle. I'm always overseas. Hurricane Bobby in the studio blowing trees. Switch the topic. I drop it. Fuck around and leave them all kick cuss when I bust. No thrust. Where we living in is fuck. Industry rule number 4081. Your new shit ain't good as your old shit. To your new shit is your old shit, son. And listen, let me get some. I wear this 24 karat solid gold rolly for my son as so far um i mean it's cool i'm still enjoying it i'm still i'm still enjoying the vibe i like how he's keeping it consistent with that old school and uh, you know i think he i think part of it is is that we don't get a lot of this at least i no i take that back i don't see a lot of this i see a lot of newer music and that and that could be just because i listen to newer music and i'm more like into that sound trappy feel uh but i do like that fresh air of like bringing it back old school type vibe and how he's just flowing with it um i like how he goes i wear this 24 karat solid gold rolly for my son as an heirloom i like how he's kind of like just representing that he doesn't do it like he's trying to take the materialism out of the rolly and put more like personal uh affection on it personal connection to it so that was cool um Industry rule number 4081. Uh, uh, your new shit ain't good as your old shit till your new shit is your old shit, son. That's actually really cool. Um, I don't know much about the hip hop industry or like the label industry and stuff like that, but I do understand that concept. Like a lot of the new stuff uh, that comes out, even I, I'm also, I also do this too. A lot of the new stuff that comes out you know, I don't really like it. I don't really fuck with the new rappers. I don't really like the new upcoming people, this and that. I think it's because 
I guess I'm just stuck in a mind state of like changing of who I listen to my sound and whatnot. Again, this is just me, but um, once some of the newer music does become old, let's say a year or two years old or whatnot, people start to fall on it and then, oh, this is suddenly hype. And now what you're doing, and then I kind of understand it, like now what you're doing is new, it's not the same thing as what we were kind of seeing in the new in the new modern time, but the older shit that you were doing before that. So uh, I really, I really, I like that line. That was, that was super dope. That was, that was bars like that. Looking dope as I rhyme, as a representation to give your family your time. Searching for love in the industry, you'll be let down. They don't love you till you get it, and they call you profound. Has that's cool. Searching for love in the industry, you'll be let down. They don't love you till you're dead, and then they call you profound. Now, I like that. I like that idea that he's that that conversation that he's coming up to with. I feel he's expressing how like you only become you get that like 15 minutes of real fame when you die. A lot of people really give you that legendary status once you're gone and you're not really on earth. Uh, now, I do. I do agree there is there is some rappers in the game that are currently alive right now who have that status but correct me if I'm wrong do you think that that do you think that that status might be even more excelled or like elevated once the, these legendary rappers pass away are people going to respect them more are they going to get more of like a recognition are more people going to go back uh, who've never listened to these rappers are they going to go back and actually you know listen to their projects and really give them that respect I feel like I feel like that's what happens. I feel like rappers pass, and then uh, people who didn't even know who the rapper was, or didn't know what, or, or didn't even know like what the music sounded like or whatnot. Um, once that person is like on the news, you know, tragic death, murder, X Y Z A B C, it's like suddenly everybody flocks to it and wants to now know who this person is, which is I feel like what he's explaining and what logic is explaining in this bar. So that was cool. The truth, I'm close to the cliff like Rick Dalton in the booth. Money ain't the key to happiness, and it's the proof. Modern day rap is like a golden era spoof. But a few of us were surging within a second renaissance, and I know that my debutants keeping a legacy going by flowing so involuntarily seamless. Me and my team. That was dope how he chopped that up. Uh, be a, but a few of resurging with a second renaissance and I know that my death give times keeping a legacy going by flowing so involuntarily seamless a the way he chopped that up was so dope he was super smooth on point mixed it up with like like the little snare in the background nice Finally reap up what we've been sowing like a seamstress Now listen up, check it I said I live by the beat, I die by the beat since 1990 I live by the beat, I die by the beat like NPC Akai who I That was cool That was really cool, I give him that Name William after cause I get bills from these beats Fuck the industry, no we keeping it real up in these streets Came up in a world that's off this access All this promise, death and taxes And a dope ass tour by L-O-G-I-C Corday and J-I-D, but that shit ain't free Now check it so I see he's shouting out uh, Corday and J.I.D. Uh, from what I'm understanding, as it says right here, he's part of the tour, which is dope. I like how they're combining and they're really trying to build that, that connection together, which is cool. I'm not actually surprised. The only one is uh, Corday. I just don't know who he is. I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's Corday as like somebody else or YM, y, YBM. Is it that Corday? Anyway. Um, so, I do know JID though. I have reviewed uh, some of his projects as well as I just reviewed recently uh, Revenge of the Dreamers 3, the J. Cole Dreamville project uh, featuring JID and a bunch of other artists. Um, so, I do know what JID raps about, how he spits, and how he kind of presents himself. So, I, I'm not surprised that him and Logic are together. They both kind of have that same type of like lyrical flow, fastness, choppiness. Um, kind of bringing a message more than just like money drugs and like whatever like little the mainstream bullshit anyway yeah and on that note i keep it g like track four kicking the door by big don't believe me look that shit up i promise you'll find the key to that punchline so that's cool again he's referencing like the culture he's really going back into like i feel like he's kind of doing this to prove like he's really part of the game like he knows this shit so yeah uh, yeah, and on that note, I keep it G, like track four, Kick in the Door by B.I.G., Notorious B.I.G. album track four, there's a, there, he says like, uh, Kick in your door, C4, something like that, I forget the lyric, I apologize. I'm feeling just fine, let the abyss 
Cause I'm my, my, my mind just soon Snap my fingers like Thanos and Bobby Boy bringing the doom Cause I'm 630, killing shit hands down and dirty That white boy can't rap, he talk good at act dirty Feeling good, yeah, I'm feeling lovely Backyard sunset, sipping on that bubbly Ice cube in my nightcap, it was a good day You heard what the hood say, logic what you should play Killing shit like OJ, I'm rhyming like OJ Hip hop for now, play arenas like I'm Coldplay all day We get that's cool. Um, backyard sunset, sipping on that bubbly ice cube in my nap in my in my nightcap. It was a good day. More like cultural references, hip hop uh, references. Ice Cube made a song called "Today Was a Good Day," so it's pretty cool. It's very consistent. I like how it's still like off the top, and he's. I mean, I assume it is freestyle, uh, but it's dope. Like it, it, it's still dope. You heard what the hood say. Logic, what you should play. Okay. Killing shit like OJ, I'm rhyming like old J. I like that, you know, he's using the OJ Simpson, um, OJ Simpson, uh, court problem, whole murder thing, uh, to reference that he's killing shit and rhyming like old J. I think that's like Jay Z, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, rapper Jay Z. From what I also understand is that Logic does give him respect and does look up to them. Uh, so it's cool how he's kind of shouting them out and he's really like giving them that. Uh, he's honoring that respect that they that they've earned. So that was cool. Uh, hip hop phenomenon play arenas like I'm Coldplay, the band Coldplay. That's dope. Pretty good so far. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the kids got skills. Get it like that. We got it, got it all day. Nothing but peace, love, and positivity to the whole wide world. Rap pack, you already know what it is, man. Bobby Boy Records, we out this bitch. And I'm having a little baby. Surprise, it's a little baby boy. TMZ, they can't get the scoop on that shit. Welcome little Bobby to the world one time. So that's cool. Surprise, surprise. He's having a little baby boy. Uh, I like how he's kind of screaming out like fuck TMZ. Not directly to TMZ, but like the concept of like he's so off the map that or like he kind of keeps so low key that nobody can really know what's going on in his life until he decides to say it. So that's cool. Uh, congratulations on having a baby boy logic that's amazing uh, I like it I mean there's not much left we can yeah, baby. All right, I'm done. so I mean just to wrap it up here like it's it's good I'm not really gonna go listen to it's not really like for me though I don't I don't have anything bad to say. He's lyrical. He said some shit. He kept it, you know, kind of ch checked off the boxes of what like freestyling is and really kind of keeping it old school. So that was dope. I like a lot of the hip hop references. I like how he uh, had fun with it. Looked like he was having fun with it. The video was nice. It was very simple. Uh, but I don't know. I think this is more like you either like him or you don't. Um, I like him, I guess, on some tracks. I, if I listen to it and it's good, I like it. If I think it's good, I'll like uh, I'll bump it. If not, I'm not going to. Uh, but overall, the Logic No Pressure Freestyle was good. I'll give it like a four point, a four on five. Honestly, it's a good song. He flips up the flow. He kind of does what he's supposed to do a little bit, and uh, it was nice. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you want more of this from me i can probably start doing a little bit more of these uh, now that i got it set up here at my house as you can see i'm not in the bts studio uh i decided to do something out of my little apartment so there you go if there's anything else you want me to react to or stuff like that let me know hit me up in the comments below hit me up on twitter uh, I do want to take a moment to say thank you so, so very much to the Patreons. Thank you, Ismail Gadamsi, Coney Sparks, DJ Black Hurricane, Linda Williams, Jonathan Barnes, and Chris Prado. Greatly appreciate everything you do for us. Um, I helped in the BTS studio. They helped us get a new camera. They, are, they support us every month. They also get to help us. Uh, they also get the chance to decide what albums we're going to do, um, how we're, like, what albums we're going to review and whatnot. So check it out. Links are down below. Links are in the description down below. Uh, as well, check out the other channel behind that suit reviews. We've got. Uh, we just released a new video from the Headspace, which is ASAP Ferg's new album Floor Seats. Uh, I just also came out with the MERS album about two weeks ago. Uh, the Iliad is dead and the Odyssey is over. 
really two good albums to listen to in over the last two weeks. Uh, I'm kind of rambling on here, but uh, thank you. Thank you so, so much for watching again. Uh, my Twitter should be, my Twitter handle should be popping up somewhere here. Holden's got it there. Uh, in that case, catch you when I do a next reaction video.